Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, welcome back to the Zodiac Age, and in this episode we're going to be continuing on through the first ascent, Horizon of First, and then also taking on another boss fight. So I hope you enjoy watching, if you do hit that like button, and let's get on with it shall we? So the first course of action today is just to make our way back around to the west hand side. If you remember, we... Well, I hope you remember, it was only the last episode, if you watched it, that is. Uh, we actually used some black orbs that we collected from the enemies here and stuck those on uh, various pedestals around this particular area. And then we were able to unlock this door. And basically, that's where we're going today, to that door that we unlocked. So we're just going to make our way around. On high-speed mode, it won't take us uh, much time at all, as long as we go the correct way, that is. Usually helps, doesn't it? So head down here. And these enemies don't have like to try and interrupt us, don't they? It's very rude of them. Let's just slow things down a touch. And here we have a nice shiny door now, the Threshold of Night. So let's open it and see where we end up. Wow, it looks like we're in the desert. How bizarre. Right, so as you can see, this area does not appear on the map. And so we just need to basically uh, try and make our way around without actually knowing where we are. But it's not a big area, so don't worry. All you need to do is head over here. And just follow the path, more or less. And with any luck, this should take us to where we need to go. What you will notice is that into... These areas here, there are like crevices with boulders in them. But if you approach them, you're just going to get set back to the beginning. So don't worry about that. Just stay on the main path until you come to this particular boulder here. And as you can see, this boulder isn't a boulder. It's a giant turtle known as Pandemonium. So you're going to want to dispel it first of all. It's not a hard boss fight, this isn't in all honesty. It's a level 45 with 116,000 health. So a lot easier than the last boss fight. And that wasn't a big challenge, was it? You might want to cast haste on your party members. Uh, I use Hastegar, which we collected from the Great Crystal, the optional area. So check that out if you don't have it. Uh, but you can also just use normal haste if need be. And you can also try and steal an Ares gem from this guy as well but you can also get some other bits such as an ancient turtle shell instead so don't get too excited could be a number of things there we go look the ancient turtle shell so we'll go ahead and disable that steel command now you can also use expose on this guy because he does have a high defense and at this point he goes immune which is a little bit annoying so just make sure you uh, save your MP during this particular stage and you just have to wait it out. It takes about a minute before he drops his shield and then you can continue commenting on him once more. I guess we can speed things up until that minute passes. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Just keep yourself nicely healed as I say, there we go. And looks like he's about to bite the bullet, as they say. And he's down. He's not very happy about being defeated, is he? I mean, we did just wake him up. It was a bit mean of us. So, pretty simple fight, even if you're quite low level, obviously it'll take a little bit longer. But as long as you can persevere through the damage that's coming your way, then you should be good to go. If you are going to struggle, then uh, you might also just want to go for the good old decoy tactic, so that he's only attacking one party member. But also, I think he can uh, hit you 
uh, with blind and petrify as well. I probably should have mentioned that. So, because we've got ribbons equipped, we didn't actually get affected by them. But it's just something worth noting. So, you might want to guard against those as well. Right then, so we've now teleported into the room behind the area that we just made our way into. Which is uh, pretty strange, isn't it? And there's not a whole lot we can do in here, as you can see. So, we're just going to exit this area once more. And we're going to make our way back to the original save crystal, the orange one. But the good news is, is that the waystone is now operational that's by that crystal. So, I'll see you there. Okay, so now the waystone, as I say, is active. So, we're going to go and use that right next to the save crystal. The same one that we ran past before. Nothing too exciting there. Now, there's going to be some flying enemies in this next area, so make sure you've got some range casters, black magic users, people with telekinesis, gambits, that kind of thing. Okay, here we are in the next area. I'm just going to show you what I mean by the telekinesis gambits. It's dead easy. We've used them before. Just have faux flying telekinesis on your characters that would otherwise only do melee attacks. And that will allow them to do ranged attack as well. And obviously have that targeted before your standard attack. Otherwise it won't be prioritised. But it will only be prioritised on flying enemies. So normal enemies you can even keep it on and it won't do it. Absolutely standard stuff. I'm sure you know it all already. So here you can see that there's two green doors. It doesn't really matter which one we use. Since we, as you can see by the map, going to end up in the same place. And if we head around here, we'll find a cavern pillar, which we can say hello to if we want to. He who crawled upon the clay, yet yearn for heaven's path, made by our will, tongue of stones, green flame, your way bespeaks. When stone face lit by green flame falls, then flame returns to stone, the path is clear. Right, so basically then, it's just given us some stuff that gives us a bit of information uh, about this area in other words what it's telling us is that we're going to have to hit some green flamed foes in order to activate a bridge mechanism okay so it hasn't actually told us that but just open this other bridge this other door even right okay so moving on from that pillar then we're just going to move towards the next section here there's obviously going to be enemies as usual for us to take care of, so I'll just speed it up to two times so that we don't lose track of anything. And we're going to head up here where we can kill some brain pans. But basically, what that thing was telling us, that pillar, is that by doing this, by killing those brain pans, those green enemies, you'll lay these bridges down. So hopefully that makes some kind of sense. And now we can head up here. Kill more enemies. And make sure you kill all of these when you see them. Don't avoid them. Because as you can hear by that sound, they are going to be dropping their bridge segments. Even if you can't see where immediately. And there's actually four pieces required for this bridge. And as of yet, we've only done two. Which means we're going to have to find the other two. But there's also a few treasures around that I don't want to particularly miss out on while we're around this place. One of which is... One that can spawn just down here, actually. But it doesn't look like it has. But there's also a one-time loot treasure chest that I want to show you. And that is in... Oh, just kill this thing, actually. Uh, not this one. This is just a normal treasure that respawns. It's in here. And up here. And here's that uh, fourth one as well. And there's the treasure. Make sure you get that one. A dragon helm. Very good. Oh, 
There's another pillar we can read if we want to do so. These only have information for you. Frozen in stone, the green flame passes from time. Stone now and evermore. So we're going to see if that bridge has made its way down for us. Looks like it has. Whoop to doo da. And now we're going to need six more of those green enemies in order to form the next bridge. Yeah, grab me high potion. Very, very important, isn't it? Of course. Need our high potions. Shit, there's nothing else. Nope. Okay, let's move on. So it takes into the next area. So it's quite a linear path, actually, isn't it, in all honesty? Very, very linear. Congrats, Fran. Bringing more power to the party. Not that we exactly need it at this particular moment, but... When we do some of the harder stuff later, aside from the main story, it's definitely going to come in useful. So this is number one. Five more to go. I believe it's six anyway for this next bridge. Hopefully I'm remembering that correctly. Another cavern. Carven pillar, sorry. On sight must you rely at mercy of the currents of this fading world. Seduced by false illusion, it is the fool who cuts not his own path. Celestial glory never to behold. And our second. And there can be a couple of chests around here as well, so just keep your eye open for them. There's also a secret chest, I believe. Trying to see exactly where that is. It might be from this room. Yeah, strike the wall. There it is. And this is a respawning chest. That looks like uh, a wall that could be broken, but it isn't. So that's it. That's the secret room. And that secret chest, by the way, doesn't really contain anything else exciting. But you still might want to grab that X potion, I guess. You can get an Aragar moat from it if you don't get an X potion or gill. Any more greenies? Oh, another secret wall. Don't mind if I do. Right, this is a one-time loot chest that's in here, so you'll probably want to grab this. A chaperon. Make sure you get it. You can even come out the other side, save having to make your way through. Just check that we haven't missed any greenies. Doesn't look like we have, so we'll just keep moving on. Ah, here we go. Whole bunch of them here. Whee. There we go. Another bridge nicely formed for our walking across pleasure. <laughs> right, so now we can basically go into a new area, I believe. What was that noise then? Just want to make sure there's no treasure that we're missing here. Can't see any. No, okay, let's move on. There is actually something we can do here. There's a bridge, you see. I'm trying to think how we can get to it. Bear with me. Right, so that treasure chest that you can see over there is the Perseus bow. Uh, a nice item, but one that we can't access yet. We need to come back a little bit later on. Okay, so for now, we're just going to head over into the next area, which is up here. And this is the Wellspring Ravel third flight, as you can see. And we're going to need to break green uh, enemies again. This time we're going to need to do five of them in order to access the next bridge. But it's going to be a little bit of a change in the puzzle coming up. So pay attention, but we're not there just yet for that. For now we're just going to slaughter these things as we go. And if we head up here there'll be another greeny. 
Which I believe there is somewhere. Let's try going up here. Not much, but there is a fool's facade. So we will, of course, grab the treasure. 479 gil, eh? Yeah, I needed that. And he got 14 million. Okay, you can see a red door there. Another X potion, wonderful. Thought I saw a bit of green. Obviously, must have been imagining things. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not want to be attacking those red ones. Just run away from that for a sec. Are we leaving it alone now? Yeah. Okay, basically, we'll open this ancient door. There is another green thing in here. But basically, those red ones are actually going to remove the bridge segments while we're in progress of building a bridge. So you don't want to be attacking them at all. Because if they die, you lose your bridge progress. So we'll speak to the carbon pillar. And it'll probably tell us the thing I've just told you. Wingless child consigned to walk the world below. Many are the works whose natures a duality possess. When stone face lit by red flame falls, then red flame turns to stone, the path is clear. But stone born of green flame to darkness fades. So in other words, if it's still a green flame on the bridge, then the red flames will extinguish it. Not what you want to happen at all, which means you're going to have to hold down the flea button as you go past those particular red enemies. So we're going to hold it down now. We can see it's on the map, holding the flea button down. And we're very carefully going to go past it. As we attack the greenies only. And this greenie, of course. Red ass, don't be a moron. Come on, can we attack the right one, please? Is it down? Is it down? As soon as the bridge is built, then it's fine, we can kill it. Now the bridge is built, so we can actually go back and take that thing out. It doesn't make any difference at all. Going to get our revenge. In fact, I think we can either steal or poach from these guys something that's important a little bit later on for an item that we can make. So I'm just going to put steel on, on Balthea. Um, I'm not sure if it's steel or poach, but while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and see if it's steel. I mean, it could be, and I won't actually get it anyway, but... Okay, well, I've got a dark crystal, so nothing exciting. I'll do a video on that item later on anyway. We can get a really awesome weapon called the Kumbar, I believe, by crafting it at the bazaar. And those enemies actually have some of the ingredients that we need. But like I say, I'll do a dedicated video on it, perhaps soon, actually, so we can get that item. It's a very, very good one. Now we're just going to make our way back up. 31F here. Again, we're going to kill the greens, leave the reds. Pretty bog standard stuff, it's got to be said by this point. Hopefully you, you know what you're doing now. And just make our way around, checking for treasures as we go. 172 gil. Very, very nice. And up here. I'm just keeping things on slow speed because I don't want to hit those red nuisances if we can help it. Check for no treasure. There's no reds here either. Okay. And now we just need to make our way around this square. Green. Yes, please. Is that green as well? Yeah. No, that's fine. Kill them both then. So as you can see, we're building a nice bridge here. Not quite done yet, though. Don't be morons. Goodness me. Okay. 
What the heck? Did they just kill that thing? Oh, that is so annoying. I'm going to have to reset these to get another green one now. I can't believe that. That was like miles away from it. But obviously not far enough. So just really just pay attention to that because I've just failed. I'm not attacking those red ones. Anyway, here's another green. I'll show you where they are. And another. Right, hopefully we should have enough. They do respawn, as you can see, quite quickly, which is a bit of a bonus. But it's possible the red ones do as well, so just slow down. No, no, no. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, it is. Stupid red thingy interrupting our little whatever it was puzzle, I guess. Well, it's a couple of one time spawn treasures coming up. And what's this? Looks like a uh, red one. So, yeah, I'm guessing the roles are now being reversed. Just going to check these treasures. Okay, so interestingly, this red bridge here is uh, leading to a secret area. So we can actually build it now by going back and attacking the red guys. So there's the diders, the red diders, in order to build that bridge. So I'll just check how many we need. I think it's one or two, is it? Speed things up a touch. It looks like we need one more. We'll go and find one more dider in this area. Probably a little bit further down, no doubt. And it looks like the green stopped respawning, so they won't interfere. There we go. And hopefully that's enough. Let's just go and check. Over the big bridge. Yeah, that should be good. We can actually go and get that Perseus bow as well now. So we might do that. This is a wall we can break, of course. The false facade. And we get a, a gun near for this one. And I'm just going to see if we can get that Perseus bow as well. So I'm going to backtrack uh, all the way to the previous area. Just follow the map and I'll see you there. Okay, I couldn't get the bridge for that Perseus bow. Um, I must have to come back later. Unless anybody knows the difference in the comments, I cannot seem to get any of the red uh, enemies to spawn in that area where the bridge will extend. Uh, but anyway, there's actually a possibility of getting another item where we extended this secret bridge to get it break through the wall a moment ago. So if you reset this area just by going out and coming back in, you might have to go through a couple of areas. Then as you can see, you can build another bridge across here, which is interesting. Just looks like we need one more red thing in order to break through. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Has that reset the bridge? I guess it's a good experiment. No, it hasn't actually. Very good. So we just need one more ready. And then we can actually break through that bridge. Or build that bridge, I should say. Any around here. Okay, I finally built this bridge. One thing I noticed is that the bridge progress doesn't reset if you go two areas back. But the uh, red guys occasionally do. So you get the holy magic, which is why I did want to get that one. It was quite important, I thought. Uh, but what I'm interested in knowing now is whether or not we'll be building the Pegasus, uh, the Perseus bridge. I'm just going to check. Okay, so here's what I've discovered. I'm just collecting the Perseus bow now. And hopefully this information is going to help you. In order to build the red bridge... You have to kill the red ones, obviously, but only the red ones that aren't interrupting a green bridge. So in this area, for example, the one where we've just looted those two secret treasures, all the green bridges have been built, which means killing the red ones is fine because it's not going to interrupt anything. That's going to add then to our red bridge in order to get the Perseus belt. But if I went into the next area where we haven't yet explored and killed a couple of green ones to start building a bridge, then killed a red one, that would basically mean that that red one would take a square off the green bridge we've built, but would not add anything 
to the other bridge. I'm hoping that kind of makes sense. It sounds a little bit confusing, I know. But what that means is this particular area, which is the Wellspring Ravel Third Flight, is the area you want to be killing the red things. And once you've killed them all, and if the bridge isn't built, you need to head back two areas to respawn them. Which means going back into this area where the Perseus Bridge itself is. Okay. I'll just show you that there. But then also going back into the area before. Which is exactly what I'm going to have to do because we still need one more square to build that Perseus Bridge. So I'm going to speed the game up here. Then make my way down into the next area and then come all the way back to where those red ones are spawning and kill another one. So there's a lot of backtracking unfortunately. But if you want to get all the treasures, then sadly that's what is required. But hopefully this makes sense to you. I'll be right back with you. So finally, I've managed to kill enough red things to extend this bridge all the way over. And at last we can get the Perseus bow. I'm just going to see if that's any good for my archer here. Hopefully it will be. Instead of the Artemis bow. Oh, no, it's worse. Well, at least we've got it. <laughs> and at least I've shown you how to get it. This is 100% walkthrough after all. So it is important that we get all the good stuff. Especially when it's treasures locked behind specific puzzles such as that. We do need to uh, just go through how to collect those items. So now we are going to head into the next area at last. And don't worry, I have mentioned this probably, but... Once you've built a bridge, it's built permanently. So you can backtrack out of this area all you want, come back, and those bridges will be done, and you won't have to resolve the puzzles or anything again. That said, it is still a little bit annoying, isn't it, at times? Trying to get everything that you want. So we're just going up here, over the bridge we built earlier. And then back around. Now be careful, because we're going to be killing green ones again in this particular section. But... There are, of course, going to be some uh, red ones to interrupt us on our way. So slow the game down so you don't go powering off and then one-shotting them. As you can see, there's actually one just located here as well. So we're going to have to hold the flea button down as we go past this one. Make sure that we're safe up here. Seems that we are. Okay. Hold the flea button down so I don't know what we've got up here. We've got a green and a red. So we do need to kill the green. But not the red. So kill this then hold fleeing down. Leave that guy alone for the time being please. Thank you very much. And make sure you're well away as well. Remember in the last area we actually uh, killed a green one a long way from the red ones and then still went back and killed the red automatically on high speed which was a bit annoying but there you go there's also another one time treasure spawn thingy majig over here so I know this can be a bit of an annoying place to make your way through but hopefully this uh, video is helping you to do so without too much trouble Check what colours we've got. We've got a couple of reds and a green. So let's kill the greens. Over here, kill the green. Hold down, fleeing. Don't want to kill the red, obviously. This might be the one-time spawn treasure chest I was talking about. In fact, I think it is. Make sure you grab it. It's a scathe mode. Fair enough. Scathe is obviously a nice... Magic, and if you don't have the magic, or if magics are disabled, then moats are very, very useful indeed. Did we miss any greens down here, did we? No. Let's just keep moving then. Avoiding the reds, of course, as we go. And the green mob. This is where telekinesis comes in useful with those flying enemies, though it's gone too far away, so I'm not going to worry about it. Ooh. Kill the flying enemy. Oh, it's gone now. Very good. And up here. Nothing too exciting. 
Just a normal enemy, we'll kill it so we can heal up. Let's speed things up a bit, because we need to get rid of Petrify. In fact, I've just realised Fran is still using a stupid X-Potion healing from when I changed that earlier on. She's probably just slaughtered through my X-Potions, I didn't even notice. Right, we're good to go. And in here, there's another one time spawn chest. Somewhere, anyway. Let's just kill the green thing first. There's also another pillar thing we can read if we want to do so. Some more information. Not that it ever makes sense to us. Ignorant child, born of chaos. No, you, it was our king. Pitying a world bereft of order. Sir Faith with Strife, who stamped True Seal on Mortal Wax. Interesting stuff. Right, where is that treasure? It uh, might actually be a secret room located around here. Let me go down into this room here. There it is. And there's the treasure. An elixir. Okay, very good. Now we're going to continue to make our way around. Just watch out for those red ones. They can like to sneak behind corners. Build that, then we can start hitting the green ones again. So we'll probably have to backtrack if there's a long bridge up here. Let's go and find out, shall we? Ah, a door, an ancient door. Right, okay, I think there might be a save point in this particular area. So by golly, we're going to go and use it. There it is. And that seems like a good point to stop as well, doesn't it? Sorry if this episode's gone on a while. I know this uh, puzzle's annoying. It's not so bad if you're just powering through the story, but if you want to get those extra items that we've nabbed, such as the bow and whatnot, then it's important that we, you know, do spend a little bit more time on these things. But thanks for joining me today, guys. We'll pick up next time. In fact, I might go and take a break from this place and do some optional stuff. There's a weapon I want to show you how to get, which I think you'll like, uh, amongst other things as well. So thanks for joining me today. Come back soon for more Final Fantasy XII. I'll look forward to it. Cheers, all.